Hey guys, welcome to SS Unitech, Susil this side and this is continuation of Power BI scenarios. So today we are going to see about the custom sort in the Power BI. And in this video, we'll see step by step how we can do the custom sorting. So our base data that we are using for source is sales data. So here we are displaying the sum of order quantities and in the access we are displaying the months. So in this column chart, you can see it is starting from April, then August, then December, then Feb, then Jan. So it is sorted according to the alphabets. But this is not our requirement. Our requirement is we just want to see the data that will be started from Jan to December. In the case one, you can see it is Jan, Feb, March, April till December. So this is our first scenario. Go to our second scenario. In the second scenario, you can see we are having the current month that is first that is July then August September till December after that it will be started to Jan to our last month so we can see Jan Feb March April May and June so that is our last month so this is our requirement so how we can do that so go to on the blank Power BI desktop and here first of all let me select the data so our data is in excel so we can click on that we can select the source and click on open if you are needed then you can drop your email ids in the comment box so i will send the source file to you here we can select this sheet and click on load it should be loaded successfully so here it is loaded so first thing that we need to have the column chart so we can click on the column chart make it bigger and here we just wanna display the order quantities so we can drag and drop the order quantity in the values and here we can check it should be sum so that is fine after that in the axis we just wanna display the months we can drag and drop the months in the axis so here we can see it is sorted according to the order quantities we don't want sort like that so go to on the more option in the right top and click on these three dots after that you can see it should be in ascending order first so we click on that after that we can again click and go to on sort by in months so here we can see it is started from april august december because it is sorted according to the alphabets so the first thing that we need to have Jan, then Feb, then March going forward. So for that, I just want to add one more column on this source data and that will have the date. So here we can see it is July. So we just want to have the July in the date like 0701 2019 or 2020. In the year, you can specify anything. In the date, you can specify anything according to your convenience. But in the month, you should specify 07. Let's do in practical. So here, go to on the table tools and add a new column. So we can click on that and we need to wait a few seconds. So here we can see, we can call this as date new. And after that, we can check if the month is Jan then 01 01 2020 then put comma after that you can use the if again the month is Feb then it should be 02 01 2020 in the year you can specify anything as per your convenience let me try to make it bigger and here let me paste this five then six then seven then eight then nine then ten then eleven then 12. after that you can close all these brackets now here it is checking for 
Feb. Next, it should be March. So we can check for March, then April, then May. After that, June, then July, then August, September, October, November, and December. And here it should be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And you can commit this. After that you can see the new column that should be added at the last. You can select that column and you can check the values on that. Here in the right side you can click on that column and go to on column tools and here you can click on this text and change the data type as date. You can click on yes. Now you can see the data. Now go to on our report part. Now let me add a new page and call this page as case 1. Now let me select the column chart, try to make it bigger and this time drag and drop this date new in the axis and after that order quantity in the values. Here you can see the 2020 but we don't want to see the data as per year, as per quarter, we want to see the data as per month. So here we can see Jan, Feb, March, April going forward till December. So this is our case 1. Now move to case 2. So for that you have to create a new table. Now click on that table. And let me call this as custom sort. The column 1 it should be month. The column 2, it should be ID. So in the month, it should be Jan, Feb, March, April, May, then June, July, August, September, October, November and December. And we just want to start from July. So we can put it as 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, then 5, then 6. You can set these orders according to your requirement. Then 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So it will be displaying the data that will be started from 1 and going forward. After that you can click on load. So it will be loaded successfully. So we need to wait few seconds. So here you can see custom sort is loaded. Now go to on the relationship and here as you can see it is already built the relationship. So that is fine. If it's not then you have to maintain the relationship manually. Now go to on the report view. Let me add one more and call this as case 2. Now let me select the column chart and make it bigger and here you can see the order quantity so we can drag and drop in the values after that don't need to take the months from the our base table go to on the custom sort that we have created new one and try to drag and drop the month in the axis. So here we can see it is starting from July. So that is not correct. Click on these three dots. After that in ascending order. Again click. Then month. So it is having like April, August, December. So it's not done at yet. So go to on the data view. And here go to on that table that we have created. After that select the ID by which we want to do the sorting then 
go to on the column tools then right side you can see this option so in this option you need to select the id so now it should be sorted according to the ids now go to on report it's not so go again and let me do again now it should be now it's working now go to on report view and here we can see the july then august then september october november december after that jan feb march so this is as we want if we want to display like jan then march then may then anything then we can set the values that we have specified in the numbers so i hope guys you have understand how we can do the custom sorting in the power bi if you need the source file then you can drop the email on the comment box so i will send the file thank you so much guys for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of our newly uploaded videos Thank you so much. See you in the next video.